There are now four shading presets in the shading panel of the control panel. This new functionality is called visual state. For visual states 1, 2, and 3, I can define each visual state and save them to my user preferences. For the final visual state, which has a folder and shader ball icon, I can set an overall visual state for the file, which then can be saved with the wire file. To set each visual state to my preference, I first click on the arrow below the shading panel to show the options. Clicking on the shade settings will bring up the options for hardware shade. Here I can adjust anything in hardware shade for the visual state. After setting the hardware shade options, I can now adjust the environment to my liking. As with the hardware shade options, I can adjust any of the environmental settings to get the particular visual state I prefer. Once I have everything set, I can then save my settings to my alias preferences so they are always usable when I click on a particular visual state. This is done by clicking on the Save to My Prefs. The same workflow holds true for the fourth visual state, although once I have the wire file saved, the last combination set of shading and the environment will be saved with the wire file.